miles away to the right. Uh, the task of taking the radar station was allocated to the North Shore New Brunswick Regiment. It had reached the village uh, of uh, Talieville, uh, barely a mile north of here on the night of the 6th of June. But when it moved off at 700 hours on the morning of the 7th of June, it met with opposition in the woods on the far side of the field uh, to the left. Uh, in, late in the afternoon, the attack was abandoned and responsibility passed to the 51st Highland Division. That evening, the 5th Battalion of the Black Watch uh, attacked the station but made no impression. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like the Black Watch and the New Brunswick's uh, had a blue on blue. They were fighting one another. Uh, the radar station overlooked the corridor and General Dempsey commanding the 2nd British Army considered that it was essential that this position should be taken so that his forces are not being watched and reported upon. On the 7th of June, again the 51st Highland Division, again supported by the 80 Assault Squadron Royal Engineers, uh, attacked this position and again failed. On the 11th of June, number 48 Royal Marine Commandos came to this position, they had a quick look at it and they moved on without conducting any assault. Eventually, a co combat group consisting of 1 Squadron 22nd Dragoons with armour, number 41 Commando and 26 Assault Squadron Royal Engineers attacked uphill uh, from the village of Duvis. Uh, diversionary tactics were also made from three other points of the compass. Four frail tanks uh, led through the minefield and were followed by three AVREs. Heavy artillery gave covering fire. Uh, high explosives were laid against the blockhouses by the commandos who went in under the cover of smoke. It was a short, furious battle and eventually the Germans raised the white flag. Eight tanks were damaged but repairable and four uh, AVREs were written off. Casualties were less than a dozen and this was on the 17th of June, 10 days after D-Day. Okay, that's it lads. Sorry, just before we go anywhere else, I want to thank everybody uh, who took part to give the old talks and all that. So that's the end of our tour now. Um, I want, especially want to thank the drivers, the lads who were driving the vehicles and all that. Um, uh, Lucas, um, we are leaving lads at 10.30 tomorrow morning. So